Hole number three, here's the tee box. We either have to go left of that tree here or straight ahead. And it's up the hill, just a little bit to the right. So this is tee position one. And then tee position two is gonna be further back in here. Now this one's gonna be a beast. This is gonna be a beast. Because it's gonna be low ceiling. There's gonna be a little bit of distance and stuff you gotta get around in the fairway. So here's gonna be the tee area for the second position for hole three. And you have to get low ceiling out of here and obstacles at the end of the flight. That's one thing I'm trying to do on this course is it, to, to make it more difficult is having trees and obstacles within circle one, within the 33 feet of the basket. I think it makes it more difficult. And uh, I just, I like the challenge of it. So ideally you wanna come through these gaps, but with a low ceiling here, and then you run into trees you have to get over by the, by the green, it makes it very, very difficult. I've been pushing long out here to the path and then putting up. I have not figured out a shot yet to get me through, get me under everything here and then above everything here. I guess I could just get lucky, get under everything and then shoot through here somehow, find a gap through here and land up on that hill. But lately I've been just landing out here on this path, which bypasses all these little ones. It gives me a clean up shot. A birdie potential if I want to run a 45, 50 footer uphill. And that's the first three holes. It's a nice little loop, brings you right back up here to hole one. And then I can play, play it again. So I'll play the first position then play second position. And eventually hole four is going to be up top on the, in the parking lot or the parking lot, the, uh, the driveway up there, shooting downhill. It's going to be a very long par three out there in the middle somewhere. So probably 400 feet plus between probably four, 400, 450 is where I'm going to put it.